Hello, my name is Jared Jeffries and I'm going to be taking you through the steps required to set up and light an oxyacetylene torch. The first thing you want to check is that both the regulator gauges on the oxygen regulator are both at zero. After checking the gauges, you're going to want to make sure that the brass knob in front of the regulator spins freely with only finger pressure. Repeat the same two steps with the acetylene regulator and gauges, ensuring that they're at zero and checking the knob in front of the regulator for finger tightness. After ensuring that all the gauges are reading zero and the regulators are backed out, grasp the on-off valve on the acetylene as shown in this picture. Turn the valve handle exactly one-fourth of a turn or 90 degrees. This turns on acetylene pressure to the regulator. Now, using a clockwise motion, turn the knob on the acetylene regulator clockwise until your line pressure reaches 7 psi. If you have adjusted your line pressure properly, your gauge should look as shown in this picture at 7 psi. Now we're going to turn on the flow of the oxygen gas. Grasp the control valve located at the top of the cylinder. Rotate it counterclockwise as far as it can go until it will not turn anymore. Then, same as acetylene, turn the regulator knob clockwise to adjust the line pressure to 40 psi with oxygen. If adjusted properly, your regulator gauge should look similar to this in the picture. Notice how it's at 40 psi. At this point, you are ready to start the torch. With the torch in your right hand, use your left hand to turn on the acetylene valve located on the torch handle approximately one half of a turn. After turning on your acetylene valve, you'll want to quickly move your striker to a location very close to the tip of the torch to start the fire. Squeeze the striker repeatedly until the torch catches fire. At this point, acetylene flame is what is burning on the tip of the torch now. Next, using the oxygen valve located on the side of the torch handle, turn on the oxygen until we have achieved a neutral flame. We talked about a neutral flame in class, and it is characterized by a non-hissing sound. As you turn on the oxygen, you're going to notice the flame goes from an orange to a blue. Once again, we're trying to find a neutral flame with our torch tip. This is not a very good picture, but this is actually a neutral flame. This is what you're looking for as you adjust your oxygen to match with your acetylene to form a neutral flame. After you have lit the torch and properly adjusted to a neutral flame, we're going to learn to shut down the torch. To shut down the torch, you're going to first shut off the acetylene valve at the torch handle by turning it quickly clockwise until it stops. Turning off the acetylene will put out the flame, but we immediately must turn off the oxygen as well. The oxygen valve is located on the side of the torch handle, and just turn it clockwise until it no longer can turn. The next step, and this is very important from a safety standpoint, is to turn off your acetylene bottle. Turn it off by turning the valve one-fourth of a turn on the cylinder until it no longer turns. Repeat the procedure for the oxygen cylinder. Turn the valve clockwise until it can no longer turn. You are in effect turning off the acetylene flow and the oxygen flow to the torch handle. The next step is to purge the line. Purging the lines is done by opening the oxygen flow valve and the acetylene valve until no more gas is escaping the lines. Very important to purge the lines. One of our final steps is to back out the regulators. Once you have the lines purged, turn the regulator knobs counterclockwise until they spin freely. This is the oxygen regulator. Repeat that procedure with the acetylene regulator knob. Turn it counterclockwise until it spins freely with your hand. The very last step is to ensure that all gauges are reading zero. This is also the first step that you use whenever you are checking the torch. This last picture just verifies that the oxygen regulators, both gauges, are reading zero. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.